Hi, it's Jerry with the Vengeance Division of Forest River, and this video highlights the all-new 2023 Rogue 23 SUT travel trailer toy hauler. I'm especially excited to talk about this because it's a new line of travel trailers and toy haulers from the Rogue Vengeance Division called the SUT, or Sport Utility Trailer. The idea behind it is to give you a good, basic toy hauler made in a toy hauler factory. Um, uh, but it's affordable because as you guys know, price points have really started to raise up. Um, this is an affordable product that'll still have all the things that you need and all the strength and durability of a real toy hauler. So as I mentioned, the Rogue SUT is a true toy hauler travel trailer made in a toy hauler factory. Um, so right off the bat, I wanna mention that it is a wide body trailer. So it is the 102 inches wide. It's gonna give you a lot more room inside for your toys and that's that's the primary reason we do it. You know, there's a, right now folks, I, I gotta say, um, toy haulers are getting really, really popular amongst the camping population. Um, not only so you can take your toys and stuff, but a lot of people today want to take their golf carts with them. And so we're seeing a lot more people out there looking at toy haulers because they can take everything with them, including the golf cart when they get to the campground. Um, so what's happened is, is there's been an influx of travel trailer companies that say, hey, I want a piece of that toy hauler business. So they take a regular travel trailer and put a ramp door on it and they call it a toy hauler. And I wanna make sure that we differentiate the Rogue product from what I would call a travel trailer with a ramp door. This is a true toy hauler, wide body, heavy duty chassis, heavy duty axles. In fact, this trailer has two 5,200 pound axles on it. Now folks, there's a lot of fifth wheels out there with 5,200 pound axles. So you've got a trailer that weighs a dry weight of around 55 to 5,700 pounds, and you've got 10,400 pounds of axle on it. Folks, this thing's a tank, and that's why I'm so excited to show it to you. Um, so obviously, here we go, wide body, you've got the nice aerodynamic rounded front end. We give you two 20 pound propane tanks up front. Um, the nice thing about that is if you're out camping and you somehow run out of gas, you know you can run down to a hardware store or even a grocery store now and do one of those 20 pound tank exchanges and you can you know get back to camping. Um, the trailer comes with a 27 series battery. That's because it comes with what we call our juice pack. So along with a 27 series battery is a 100 watt solar panel, a 30 amp controller, and a voltage meter inside. So being a toy hauler, you're gonna be out in the middle of nowhere dry camping. It's great to know that you have that solar panel in there keeping your battery charged. The cool thing is, is the 30 amp controller is good to up to 500 watts of solar. So folks, if you wanted to add more solar panels, all you gotta do is daisy chain them up above. Um, you even have room for two batteries down here so you can get that extra camping time in. Here at the front of the coach, uh, you're gonna have your, your front storage compartment. So I'm gonna pop this guy up here right now. You can see right now we, we have stored in here is the table. This, this is the table that actually goes between the two uh, sofas in the back. So you have an eating area, but you can see it's full pass through storage. We've given you tie downs in here to make sure that, that anything you put down here will be secured. Um, and in here is actually the 30 amp controller to the solar system. We always put the controller as close to the battery as possible. That's the, that's the most efficient way to use the battery in the solar charging system. Um, so you can see it's full pass through storage. Uh, while I'm up front, I'm, I'm just gonna point out the front marker light and you'll notice that right here is the attachment for a four camera rear observation system. So the Rogue SUT actually comes with a ready for a four camera system, which includes a camera on the side here, a camera on the other side, which is great when you're going down the road and you wanna see if something's beside you, you wanna change lanes. Of course, it has the camera in the back and I'll point that out when we get back there. And then the fourth camera is inside to actually see your cargo when you're going down the road. We'll talk about that on the inside of the coach. The 23 SUT comes with a power awning. Um, as you can see, it's also got the, the blue lights on the side. The nice thing about the lights on the side on the arms is um, I'm sure you've been camping and you've seen some of your neighbors, they have the LED lights that go all the way across uh, the side of the trailer and then a light goes out and then another light goes out and the next thing you know, you've got all these spaces. Uh, the nice thing about these lights on the sides is they're actually replaceable. You can get online and, and buy them actually rather affordably. Um, so if they start to go out, it's real easy to replace. It's just a, a component that you just unscrew and it goes right on the awning arms. 
Um, so under the awning, you've got a couple of speakers here so you can play your stereo outside. Uh, the unit actually comes with a Bluetooth receiver. We no longer put a CD player or stereo system or DVD or any of that. Um, because everybody uses their, their phones now and their tablets. So there's actually a real high quality uh, Bluetooth receiver system that you'll use. You can play your tunes or your movies through your phones, but it does have dual zones. So you can have inside and outside um, sound. And then of course, here is where your TV would go. If you wanna watch the races or the ball game out underneath the awning, you've got a place to, to hook your TV on, uh, your cable setup and your uh, plugs right here. So I mentioned the, the two 50, 200 pound axles. Um, here you can see the, the uh, wheels, a uh, nice aluminum wheels, 50, 200 pound axles. And folks, this is a Goodyear Endurance radial tra trailer tire. Um, the nice thing about it, number one, made in America. Um, but the Goodyear Endurance radial, the, the, the good thing about the radial, the one I think I wanna talk about in this is the speed rating. Folks, the standard trailer tire speed rating is 65 miles an hour. And I know going down the road, I've certainly seen people towing faster than that, and I'm, I'm guilty of it myself sometimes. Um, but so 65 miles an hour is really as fast as you should go when you're towing based on the tires. But the good thing is, is these Goodyear Endurance tires actually have an 87 mile an hour speed rating. Now I'm not condoning going 87 miles an hour, but it's nice to know if you wanna push it a little bit, you're not gonna overheat your tires and worry about a blowout. Here at the back of the coach, a couple of things to point out. Number one is your uh, leash latch. Uh, so we actually have two places uh, where you can tie up the dog. There's, there's one here in the back and then there's another one up by the steps. Um, that's so much better than actually tying your dog to the steps where it can get all wrapped up in the steps. So you've got one of them up there and you've got one back here um, to keep Fido attached. Uh, uh, secondly, is our uh, stabilizer jacks. This is actually, a, it's, it's up right now, but this is actually a load bearing scissor jack. Um, it's got 5,000 pounds of lift. So once again, you've got four of these jacks, one on each corner, you've got 20,000 pounds of support on a trailer that only weighs 55 to 5,700 pounds. So the nice thing about this is, is um, I put these down, I know they're gonna stay nice and strong when I have to drive things up the ramp. Um, I don't have to worry about any give, it's gonna stay nice and stable. Here's the rear ramp of the 23 SUT. It's uh, an 84 inch door. Um, so instead of like a regular travel trailer ramp door type product, which has a six foot door, this has a longer seven foot door, gives you uh, an easier approach to drive your toys up and into the coach. Um, it comes with the cables. Uh, as you can see here, it comes with the cables if you wanna put it up for a patio. So it's, it's ready for that. I would call it patio ready if you wanna do that. Um, you can always add that patio system because the cables are already attached. But what I really want to point out is as you go up the ramp, as you can see from, from this length, from the back of the ramp to the front bed, now right now the front bed is pushed up, folks, you have 20 linear feet of storage in this trailer. So the whole idea was is to make it small, compact, and carry just about anything you can think of. So you can see you've got 20 linear feet there. Um, also, you'll see well, obviously the uh, ramp light is on. So if you wanna load your toys up in the evening, you've got an LED uh, ramp light back here. And then in the center is the rear observation camera. If you wanna add the optional camera system to it, um, that'll be for going down the road. You can see what's behind you or for backing up or that type of thing. So we're on the driver's side or the off-door side of the 23 SUT. And I just wanna point out that all the utilitarian things are on this side of the coach. Um, the nice thing about that is, is you're hooking up your water, you have all that stuff here out of your camping area, as opposed to being on the other side under your awning. You know, nobody wants to have your water hose going through your, your main living area. So the nice thing is, is everything is on this side. Um, you've got your hot and cold shower. This is your fresh water connection. Um, and your city water connection. City water meaning if you're at the campground and they have water supply, you would hook up to here. Fresh water, that means you're gonna fill your tank. Folks, this 23 SUT has a 100 gallon fresh water capacity. So it's got a lot of capacity compared to most toy hauler travel trailers in this size. Um, you can see here's your black tank flush, which is great when you're cleaning everything out and you're, and you're ready to go home. Um, your 5,200 pound axles, obviously, same ones that were on the other side, by the way. Uh, and then moving up here, your furnace. This is where your cable and satellite goes in. Your dump valves are all right here. And I wanna move up right up to the front, folks, because here's a, here's a great thing. And that is this affordable 
toy hauler actually has a tankless water heater system standard. Uh, what that means is there is no six gallon water heater like most trailers have. This has unlimited hot water. So you have 100 gallons of fresh water capacity um, in the trailer, and then you have unlimited hot water as you go. And it's a really cool feature on this hot water heater is inside, I don't know if you can see in the back, you can see the copper. That's actually where it makes the water hot instantly uh, as the water goes through. Um, it heats up. But what's cool about this water heater, folks, is that, you know, in your car, when it gets to be about 37 degrees or whatever, a little light comes on and something says, you know, danger ice or that type of a thing. Well, this actually has that same kind of a sensor, but instead of having a little light come on in your dash, what it does is it actually clicks on the flame so that if it gets really cold or the temperature drops and you're gone, you certainly don't want any of this water to freeze. So it'll just turn right on keep things maintained so you know you're not gonna have uh, an ice cube back here to worry about. Hey, I forgot to mention one more thing here on the driver's side or off door side towards the back. And that is if you look up towards the top, you're gonna see there's a connection there for Lippert's collapsible ladder system. Um, so this is a real nice feature um, as opposed to having a ladder that's on the side of the coach that's, first of all, the rung is so high even I can't put my foot on it um, and it's, instead of being flat against your coach, the uh, Lippert ladder system, if you choose to buy it, actually hooks there and comes down and it telescopes. So it'll, it'll start at the ground and go all the way up and it's firmly on the ground on an angle, not straight up and down. Um, and that's, uh, so this is designed to be ready for that Lippert ladder. Your dealer can, can get it for you if you want it, or you can actually go online and buy it as well. So on the inside of the 23 SUT, it's about functionality, and livability, and quite frankly, as much storage space as we possibly could give you. So right now you see the front bed is uh, folded up. I'm just gonna pull this lever out and the bed will drop down. So this is your master bed right here. You've got uh, shelving across the front and then around the side is actually a little wardrobe closet area. Um, and then if, if you don't need, you certainly have all that for storage underneath the bed. The bath is actually a good sized bath for a trailer this size. So you get your vanity. Um, it's a uh, porcelain foot flush toilet, no skimping there. And then you've got a shower. Folks, I'm, I'm over 6'3". I have no problem um, standing in this with a head height. So it's real easy for me to take a shower. And here's a really nice feature. And that is uh, a window, which you rarely see in a bath in a camper. We've given you a, uh, a window here, which gives, gives it a nice big open feel, even though this is a smaller trailer. Now, one last thing, I, I mentioned the hot water heater outside. On the inside here is where the uh, hot water heater controller is. Um, and one of the cool things about that is, uh, uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play with it. I'll just kind of tell you about it. The neat thing about this system is, is you can set whatever temperature you want. So the cool thing is, is I'm. It's here in the bathroom because if you know what temperature you like to take a shower, you can actually adjust this water heater to that temperature. Wait 10 seconds and just turn the hot water on, and you'll have the exact temperature that you want. Then when you're finished, you can bump it back up to the scalding hot to wash dishes. So I mentioned that fourth camera of the optional four camera system, it's right here. So the cool thing is, is this camera will actually uh, uh, view down here. So when you're going down the road, if you hit some uh, rough patch or whatever, and you're worried about your expensive motorcycle back here, you can actually change channels on the monitor and actually see what's back here to make sure everything's stable without having to pull over and double check your load. Kind of a neat feature. Uh, let's move into the galley area. Right off the bat, look at the size of this refrigerator. You have a 10 cubic foot refrigerator, guys. Uh, and this is a 12 volt refrigerator. So you can see it's it's real big, nice big freezer area. So that's really great if you're out fishing and you wanna take some of them home and all, you know you're gonna have room for it. Um, uh, pizzas will actually fit in here. You know, a lot of RV refrigerators, the freezers don't even fit a frozen pizza. This one will, it's a great feature. Um, so you get lots of storage space. Uh, and it's a 12 volt system. So that means it runs off of your battery. So when you're going down the road, instead of having your propane on, which in a lot of states is actually illegal, now you can legally tow with the 12 volt on. And of course, as you're going down the road, your truck alternator will charge the battery on your trailer just like it charges the battery on your truck. So you know it's gonna be fine going down the road. Um, moving on, you've got a uh, thousand watt uh, 
microwave, vent, three burner range, and an oven. Uh, a real nice big sink. Um, and once again, you know, this is, this is a little trailer. We're trying to concentrate on a great affordable price, but look at this great uh, high pressure sprayer nozzle. You know, it's, it's not a cheap RV nozzle. It's a real nice feature. So, you know, he's not gonna have any trouble doing dishes in this trailer at all. While we're here, um, I've mentioned the uh, 100 gallon fresh water. You've also got a 40 gallon gray water and a 40 gallon black water tank. Um, and one of the cool things is, is this has an enclosed heated underbelly. So when the furnace is running, the uh, uh, heat will actually blow into the underbelly and, and help keep your tanks from freezing. But we have one additional feature and you can see it's right here. You see right here, it says uh, heated holding tank switch. I hit that. Uh, you see the blue light comes on. What that's doing is there's actually a 12 volt heat pad on your fresh tank, your gray tank, and your black tank um, now that are helping to keep those tanks from freezing, which is great if you wanted to use this, uh, say as your hunting cabin and it starts to freeze overnight, um, even though the furnace is on, you want that added protection, hit the holding tank switch. But the nice thing is, is if you're towing, let's say you're using it as your hunting cabin and it is freezing and you're gonna go home, well, you're not gonna run your furnace while you're driving but uh, if you have liquid in your tanks, it could freeze. So the nice thing is before you take off, hit this heated holding tank switch. Now on your drive home through the freezing cold weather, you know you don't have the opportunity for your tanks to freeze up. Really nice feature. And then of course, right below it is your monitor panel. So you can see your battery level. Obviously it's plugged into electricity right now. The battery is gonna be full. Um, and these are your tank levels, which are, should all read empty and they do. Um, and then this is actually where your water pump is. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but I don't wanna keep it on too much because there's no water in it. Um, but that's your water pump right there. So you've got your, your living area, your bath, your galley. Now let's talk a little bit about the, the whole storage area here. The rear part of the 23 SUT garage is dedicated to your sleeping and eating area. As I mentioned, um, when I was at the front storage compartment, you saw the table was folded up and, and stuck in that compartment. That table would go right here. So you have a place not only to sit, but you have the table so you guys can eat if it's raining outside or you don't want to be out underneath the awning. Um, so you've got the seating area here. These are called rollover sofas. So these just roll over like this, one on this side, one on that side. They form a uh, 60 inch bed. So it's a queen size bed. And then the next bed is our quick set bed. So folks, we don't use the power bed system. Um, you know, the power bed system's fine. Um, it, it takes a while. It takes seven or eight minutes if you want to get this bed down. And if my kids are sleepy and cranky and they want to get the bed, I don't want to wait seven or eight minutes, man. I want to put it in the bed right away. So we came up with this system, um, which is real simple. You see the struts on the side. All I'm going to do is grab it and give it a pull on this side. I'm going to come up here and give it a pull on this side and boom, we're done. It's that simple. The kids can pop up there and go to sleep. Um, to, to bring it up, I'll give it a little push. You'll notice it's a strut assist. The struts are doing the work. Um, and same thing on this side. Give it a pop and it's up out of the way. The nice thing is, guys, is, is the only thing that can go bad is one of these struts. And I can go to any auto parts store right now and buy this strut. So once again, it's functional, it's durable, it's practical, and it just makes sense for this product. Uh, lastly, a couple other things here bef before I wrap up is I talked about the garage area. I do want to mention the tie downs. So we have the tie downs. They start here and they actually do go all the way up to the front uh, wall. So when you do bring something, if you have a motorcycle or uh, an ATV or something you want to put where the bed is that area, um, there are the tie downs. Uh, these are 2,500 pound tie downs. The, the D rings are welded in. Um, so you've got a lot of security there. Uh, and then lastly, uh, we've mentioned the hot water heater in the furnace. I just want to real quickly mention the air conditioner. And that is folks, um, this actually has a 15,000 BTU air. So you've got a, a pretty small camper with, with really big air conditioners. So you know you're gonna stay cool. Um, and so the last thing I want to mention here is I didn't before, but this is the tent end that comes standard on the coach. So the nice thing about this is, is um, if you have the ramp down or you've made a patio out of it, uh, you've got this wall. Um, so at night, instead of having to fold everything up and, and shut the door, all you have to do is uh, shut this curtain here. I'm just gonna pop out here. There we go. 
pop that down, and now you've got privacy without having to fold everything up. So it's a, it's a great way to expand your living space um, and give you the privacy. So there you have it. That's the Rogue 23 SUT Toy Hauler Travel Trailer. Great value, durability, and affordability all wrapped up. For more information, visit us at forestriverinc.com slash rogue. Thanks for watching.